Hello everybody, welcome to the first part in my series for modding Minecraft. This is the first one, set up. And all we really need is the Minecraft Coder Pack and Java. Java Runtime Environments, Java Developer Kit, and Eclipse. You don't need Eclipse, but it makes your life a whole lot easier when it comes down to modding Minecraft. So over here, you just Google it, for example, all you gotta do is JRE. First one, hit JRE right here, boom, you're at this page. Okay? I still have the links in the description as well. And you just pick one that's right for you. Like if you're a Windows 7, for example, 32 bit, then you hit one of these, one of these two. Not the kernel, I don't know what the heck that is, but one of these two, online or offline, doesn't matter. If you're Windows 64 bit, hit this one. Same for this Java development kit, JDK. If you're Windows 64 bit, you grab this one. If you're Windows 32 bit, you grab this one. Any other ones, for example, Linux. I don't know if there's one for Mac, but. Or I heard that Mac has its own one built into Mac updates or something. Anyway, so we got the JRE right here, runtime environment. Java development kit. I'm not going to download both now since I already have them on my computer. And then last of all, Eclipse. So you want the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So if you just Google it, for example, Eclipse. Not that. You go for Eclipse downloads. Not that. That would be cool though. <laughs> this one right here. And you hit Java developers. Same one I have open over here. Like I said, close that up. And pick ones over here. If you're Windows, or if you're Mac, or if you're Linux, doesn't matter, just get the correct one for your version. Mine is Windows 64, so I would hit this one. But I already have it, so I'm not going to install it. Very simple. Just hit this one right here. Okay. Now it says Columbia University HTTP download. This is a normal download. This is BitTorrent. If you know what a BitTorrent is, you could use that. If you don't, this is a normal download right here. Okay. I already have these things, just normal installation, right? Now, the very last thing that you would probably have to download in order to run anything, and this is part of the setup, so I'm going to show you. What we want to do is look for the Minecraft Coder Pack, okay, right here, oceanlabs.de, latest release, release information, and what you need to know is that every single version of Minecraft past the release of beta for example 1.2.1 that has its own version of the MCP for example 1.2.1 has multiple versions of the MCP even 1.2.1 a lot more apparently 1.2.2 has its own version. Whole some versions of Minecraft have more than one version of MCP. But every version of MCP has exactly one version of Minecraft and Minecraft server that it works for. So since now we're on 1.6.6, we're gonna download this latest one. Download Ooh, Media Fire. Save it. I'm gonna save it in my library, my documents, Minecraft mods and tutorial one. Or actually no, right here I have one. Save it on top of that. And we are not going to show you how to do it with Mod Loader today. This is just the normal setup. I'll have a separate tutorial for setting up Mod Loader when I get to that part of this tutorial. So we have this. Okay. Open it with WinRAR or 7-Zip is what I'm using right now. Tutorial 1, I just made a new folder. Tutorial 1, completely empty. And you want to copy everything to this, okay? Copy it all, boom, it's all there, right? Okay. Now, the way to make this work is for jars. It has automatic, it already has the server properties in here. That's built in for some reason. So what we want is we want our Minecraft jar, which is, you got to get from here, right? From your normal Minecraft installation, you go to percent sign app data percent sign 
and right here dot minecraft you want the bin and the resources okay so we're gonna copy that copy right here and paste right and but that's not all we also need our server well you don't need our server but lots of people like having the server just in case so we're gonna go minecraft server minecraft server download minecraft server not normal minecraft the beta software you want this the minecraft jar right save that save it no wait oh i just had it tutorial one jars we'll save it right here let download okay it's done downloading now poof here it is right we got all our jars minecraft jars so first of all let's see if we have our latest mcp i don't know for some reason sometimes oh a new method a new version even though i swear i just downloaded the latest one right maybe they have other random things that you should download i don't know but I'll always do the um update mcp before you start anything because you never know when you might need stuff okay it's done now this is what you do to first get working you decompile now what this does is it all the stuff that's in the jars folder it extracts it out and turns it into something that you as a human can read not the computer a human can read so it generates this source file right here source folder minecraft net minecraft source all these are actual text okay that you can read as a human like you know reference classes da 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 not some random gibberish that a computer would be able to read but humans cannot okay it also does the same for minecraft server so you go source, use Minecraft, Minecraft server, which has all its stuff in here, right, and so on. It's actually not a good idea to open it up like I am right now while it's decompiling, because you could screw something up, but anyway, now it's done. So it's all completely ready for you to use. I mean, you could very easily just open up the source, go to Minecraft, net, Minecraft, source, and start like opening stuff up with Word or Notepad, like right click, open with, Notepad, and start changing stuff, and it will mod Minecraft for you. know, I mean, you could mod it. You would have a whole bunch of errors, yes, but you could do that. I, on the other hand, I like using um, Eclipse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Eclipse. Okay. Eclipse Helios. I don't know how old that is. Maybe it's your code name still. So I don't know. And I'm going to do file versus X out of all this other stuff in mine. Mm -hmm. File, switch workspace, other. You know, browse. And you know how we made this new tutorial one spot, right? Inside there, see the new latest one of um, MCP comes with a folder built in called Eclipse. You don't need to know what stuff is in there. All you need to do is hit press Eclipse. OK press OK again, it'll close out and it'll open back up in a few seconds, hopefully, it should, or maybe it's not going to, that'd be sad, okay, let's open it up again then, Eclipse, well this time, see it's loading your workbench, it's a brand new workbench, and it's now recognizing all the stuff that you just decompiled, where is this? looking for anyway switch tutorial one no it's not the tutorial one yes tutorial one eclipse right okay there you go saving workspace and changing it I was wondering what happened over there anyway there you go you are officially set up source minecraft these are all your things you know how before we opened it up on word no well now it's a little bit better you know the text highlighting if you screw something up for example I go like that It'll tell you, oh my gosh, there's an error and an error and an error. All these little red X's that tell you when there are errors. You just can, you can fix it. You know? And that way, it saves you a whole lot of time because otherwise, to test, if you did it with Notepad, if you made changes with Notepad, you'd have to hit the, re the recompile bat. And then it would tell you where your errors were. 
and you know it would tell you where your errors were, and then you have to find it. It wouldn't. It would. It wouldn't be like okay, uh, this line somewhere. It would be something like this, and I'll say oh error over here, and I'll have like a little arrow, and you have to figure out somewhere in this like entire chunk of data that it's either here or here or here or maybe you missed the parentheses over here or something so that's why we all like using Eclipse so your Minecraft area workspace it's all perfectly set up now anytime you want you just open up Eclipse and start changing stuff okay hope you guys like this first tutorial it's only part one Look for part two, it should be here in the next two days or so. Thank you.